It's almost a rite of passage as a parent. Sooner or later, you're going to wind up with your kid at the local ER. And hopefully, it's a Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Today's episode is brought to you by Baby Bjorn, maker of the Baby Carrier Original Spirit. Equitech certified, safe for your baby, Baby Bjorn. To find out what makes these hospitals so special, we talked to Aubrey Chikelli of the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Jamie Clark from Dell Children's Medical Center here in Austin. Here's what they had to say. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals raises funds for 170 children's hospitals across North America. So wherever you're located in the United States or Canada, there's probably a Children's Miracle Network Hospital near you that is standing ready to you know, treat your children for anything, whether it's broken bones or cancer. And the importance of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is that we raise funds that the hospital so desperately need to take care of you know, these patients for any number of ailments. They treat children regardless of a family's ability to pay. They are pure nonprofits. And so when you go to, when your child needs care, if you go to a Children's Miracle Network Hospital, you're guaranteed to receive that care. And that's why donations to children's hospitals are so important. Most people don't think of their local children's hospital as a children's charity, but in reality, they depend on donations from their entire community to help fund really important programs and also to um, pay for this uncompensated charitable care. Everything in this hospital has, was geared with the child in mind. If you go through the hallways, you'll see thousands of art pieces, which is a way for healing for a child, um, and also our healing gardens. We have a three-acre healing garden around the hospital. One of our levels on our healing garden is uh, planters, and so patients are able to go outside and work with their hands, and which teaches motor skills. And It's smart to think of us kind of as an aggregate organization. So we collect all these hospitals and then bring them to large fundraising partners. Some of our biggest partners are Walmart and Sam's Club, Costco, Rite Aid, uh, Food Lion, Dairy Queen, IHOP, Delta Airlines, Marriott International, and it would be really difficult for our hospitals to individually connect with these organizations or for these organizations to individually connect with 170 different hospitals. But by working with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, we make it easy for the community to fundraise for their local hospital by, say, spending a dollar for a Children's Miracle Network Hospital's icon balloon when they go into a Walmart. And Children's Miracle Network Hospitals doesn't take anything off the top. All of the money goes directly to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital in your community. Collectively, we raise $240 million for children's hospitals every year, $4.2 billion over our 27 year history, which is a huge amount. And that is always the most amazing thing to me because most of it is a dollar or two at a time. Um, and when you look at organizations that are going after major gifts like 30,000, 50,000, or you know, multi-million dollar donations from really wealthy individuals, we don't do that. We give every individual the opportunity to make a difference at their children's hospital just by giving a dollar. It's the power of like, the collective good. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals distributes their funds a little differently than a lot of organizations, which makes us such a powerful partner to our hospitals. They're unrestricted funds. And so when we give money to a hospital, we aren't saying this has to go to the NICU unit, this has to go to the emergency room. The hospital can really identify where they need it. Um, a lot of our hospitals use it to support programs that take place in communities that we don't really think about. Um, you know, if there are children who are the victims of child abuse or sexual abuse, the programs that the communities offer to take care of those kids are oftentimes funded by the children's hospitals in those communities. Those are the things that I'm most proud of. I mean, our hospitals are doing amazing things all the time. Primrose Schools has made it really easy. You go online, you upload a 30 second video of your family dancing, trying to be as good as the Chikelli boys at Michael Jackson's Beat It, and then you have the opportunity to win $5,000 for your family or 30 and $30,000 for your local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. No matter where you are, there is a Children's Miracle Network Hospital that's serving your community. 
If you'd like a chance to win some great cash prizes and support your local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, go to FamilyDanceOff.com and join the Family Dance Off put on by Primrose Schools. You know, Daddy Brad, you and I both spent more than our share of time here at mm -hmm. the local Dell Children's Hospital. We know what a fantastic place with a great staff it is. Absolutely. You know, Ella was there last week. She's better now. The two things that really stood out to me, the space, it's conducive to kids, it's, it's not really clinical, and the people, they really know how to treat children. You know, we were also fortunate enough to visit the Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, so we really know how fantastic these hospitals in this network are. If you've had the experience of being at a Children's Miracle Network Hospital, share your experiences with us at dadlabs.com. We want to hear from you, and you'll hear back from us. That's right. You know, I'd like to thank Baby Bjorn, architect certified, safe for your baby, Baby Bjorn. That's all for us here this week in the lab.